It's an ancient temple below another ancient temple below another ancient temple that to this day no one can explain. And I'm gonna tell you all about it in three minutes or less. Let's get to it. Located within the Bukka Valley of Lebanon lie the ancient ruins of the Temple of Jupiter, which was built by the Romans around 100 BC. However, it wasn't the first temple constructed upon this site because prior to the Roman temple, there was Heliopolis, a Greek temple for their god Zeus, which was constructed around 400 BC by Alexander the Great after he conquered the Phoenicians, who also had a temple here for their god Baal, which dates back to around 2500 BC, and before that, well, it just goes on and on, dating all the way back to around 9000 BC with civilizations that included the Canaanites, Assyrians, and the Egyptians. But to this day, no one knows who the first was. All they do know is that someone built a massive stone platform here around 10,000 years ago and, by the way, whoever they were, their technology was on par or possibly even more advanced than what we currently have today, which, I know, sounds ridiculous, but take a moment and let me introduce you to three lovely stones called the Trilithons, each one just as perfect as the next with measurements of 62 feet long, 12 feet wide, and 14 feet thick, boasting an incredible weight of 800 metric tons each, or 1.7 million pounds, which is an insane amount of weight even by today's standards, yet whoever built this platform somehow lifted each stone 20 feet above the ground then perfectly placed them side by side so that not even a single piece of paper could fit between them. Now, let me be perfectly clear. I absolutely do not discount the ingenuity, intelligence, or engineering capabilities of our ancient ancestors. But the fact of the matter is, some shit just ain't possible. And if we are to accept the currently accepted timeline for the advancement of technology throughout human history, this is definitely one of those moments. Because as of this moment, the most weight a modern day mobile crane can lift is around 600 tons, which is 200 tons less than one of these stones. And to put that into a greater perspective, if we were to include whatever in the fuck lifted these stones 10,000 years ago with our current technology, it would instantly rank in the top 10 strongest cranes, coming in at number 6 because there are only 5 machines that exist today capable of lifting that much weight. So how in the fuck do we explain this? Well, we don't, and I mean that quite literally, because as of this moment, not a single scholar, expert, or researcher has been able to put forth a plausible theory because, again, some shit just ain't possible. That is, only if we are to accept our currently accepted timeline, because there is actually an explanation for the Trilithons at Baalbek, and it was given to us by our ancient ancestors. We just choose to call it a myth, which is ironic, don't you think? Let me know either way in the comment section below, and while you're at it, do me a little favor and tickle the pickle with a like and a subscribe. As always, I appreciate you stopping by, I hope I got you thinking, and I'll see you on the next one.